For more than 700 years, the lifeblood of Singapore depended on its port. Today, the volume of shipping and trade pouring in and out of Singapore continues to expand at a spectacular rate. Tuas is in the midst of a four-phase, 25-year construction project that will be able to manage up to two times the total amount of cargo that's being handled now by 2040. The key is the reclaimed land that will raise the port right from the oceans and expand Singapore's land area by more than 1,300 hectares. Caissons are like Lego blocks that are submerged and linked together to build the seawalls of each of the four land fingers of the new port. They are crucial to the land reclamation process at Tuas. Each caisson weighs 15,000 tons. That's equivalent to about 8,000 cars stacked together. Cast from poured concrete, each caisson is 10 stories high. Another 136 of these concrete giants must be cast and towed out to sea before the seawall can be completed. Inside the caisson factory, two of the giant structures are at different stages of production. Number 95 is almost ready to be towed out to sea, where it will be sunk to form part of the key wall. Work on number 92 is just beginning, with the casting of the base slab. Defects can only be prevented by making sure the concrete gets poured evenly into the slab. To do this, the workers insert a vibrating rod to stir the concrete constantly as it gets poured into the casting mold of the slip form. The team uses a probe to check whether the concrete has hardened evenly. The team at number 92 is ready to cast the tower. Caissons are more complicated than they look on the outside. This giant gantry acts as a cast or slip form for the tower. Inside the tower is a concrete box-shaped framework, a clever way of reducing the weight of the structure without compromising its strength. The site workers build up the box structure layer by layer inside the gantry. At the Toise site, work on the caissons continues day and night. As each level is poured and checked, the platform moves up another level. One caisson in its slip form is so heavy that the engineers have to use 36 sets of hydraulic jacks to push the platform up as more concrete goes in. Just one of these sets can lift 1,500 tons, around the weight of 11 blue whales. Each set of jacks must work in perfect unison. The head operator has to make sure the weight of the caisson is distributed evenly amongst all the jacks. When each caisson is completed, it will be moved onto a floating dock, ready to be pushed out to sea to take its place in the seawall. This is the most crucial part of the caisson assembly line. The huge concrete giant is pushed on steel tracks onto a floating dock. Each caisson weighs 15,000 tons, and this is just one of 227 of them. Two boats are involved in the sea operation. A tugboat in front is pulling the caisson and a boat behind is pushing it towards the installation site. A crane awaits them on another floating dock, which will shift and align the caisson. Meter by meter, the caisson sinks down to the ocean floor. Once it gets fully sunk, it is linked up to the rest of the already installed caissons. With number 95 submerged, the production line continues relentlessly without a break. As the Toise Megaport grows into the sea, 
expanding Singapore's land area and its global impact as a port nation and economy hub of the future. Welcome to Tomorrow City.